So yeah, so the Spitfire competition, for those of you who are unaware, Spitfire ran a competition with HBO and uh, Westworld, right? And what they did, I'm sure most of you have seen it pop up on Facebook a few times. If there's one thing composers love to do, it's share their work on Facebook. Also guilty of this, so it's not a judgment. That is just a statement of fact. But anyway, so Spitfire and Westworld, they uh, they put out a competition. The competition was score this uh, car chase scene, this really slow car chase scene. Um, and then they will show it to the directors. They will show it to the people and they will choose. Now, I feel sorry for a lot of people because they're like, it doesn't matter if I win or not. At least J.J. Abrams will listen to my music. Unfortunately, these things tend to work like this. Some poor assistant. Probably at Spitfire, actually. Some poor assistant had to just go through them. And like this is why these competitions are always a little bit interesting, you know, when they're done, when the voting's done behind closed doors, because you don't know who's making the shortlist. You know what I mean? Like, so what would happen is everyone would write a cue, they'd submit it, and then they'd have some intern go through and pick out the ones that are like, I don't know, the ones that are just sonically, obviously quality and the ones that are like poorly mixed. So poorly mixed ones don't even make it past like the intern, I imagine. By the way, this is all this is all speculation. I've seen how some of these competitions, I've, I've run some of these competitions. I've seen how they work. But like, just so that you guys understand how they work as well. So once the interns pick the good quality ones from the bad one, they have another, they probably have another round. They'll have a listen and they'll make a short list of maybe 10, if you're lucky of ones that are just either really different or really good. They'll probably go through and pick like weird ones, funny ones, hybrid synth ones, put them in a category together and be like, okay, this funny one gets to go in the shortlist. This weird one gets to go in the shortlist. And then JJ Abrams probably only saw like five, <laughs> if that, I reckon. So, uh, you know, it, it's... It, yeah. 11,000 submissions. Well, everybody wants that free stuff. That's a lot of people. And then, um, so from what I understand, and I took a listen to it earlier, from what I understand, a lot of people are angry because it feels like the person who won it did it almost as a joke. <laughs> so the version that won and I assume, being as though it's a competition, we can play it on live stream. Do you think we'll get away with it? We'll play it because we're um, we're reviewing it. What was the guy's name? Can someone remind me of the guy's name? Do, do I have it saved still? No. Um, we'll show it on the stream, but because it's a competition and we're showing it to the stream for the purposes of critique, which is allowed on the fair use, uh, we will think we will be fine. I believe. David Kudel, thank you. So the uh, the problem with it is, and I mean, you'll, you'll hear it. We'll play snippets of it. We won't play the whole thing. That way we're guaranteed, you're not guaranteed, but at least that way we'll work around the, uh, work around the whole copyright issue. So let's have a little ganders. Verified. Enable semi-automatic control. Disable safety features. Maximum speed. Go. These cars are moving so slowly. All right, sick of Is this the winning one? Okay, so, yeah. Sorry, the only reason I said that is it's just that the intro, the intro wasn't doing much for me, but okay. By the way, how, how should we approach this? Because, like, how do you want to approach this? Because this guy won, obviously, but I'm sure we all have notes. But at the same time, I feel bad for the guy because I feel like by winning, he's taking a lot of shit enough as it is. You know what I mean? So shall I, shall we, how should we do this? Like, how critique shall we be? Because I don't want to be a dick to the guy because it's not his fault he won. <laughs> Which sounds like a weird thing to say. But, like, when you hear the version of the song, it was different, but I, I think it was different, and I don't think he ever expected to win with it. It's hard. I, when you hear it, you'll know what I mean. I don't know how. So, yeah, okay. Verified. 
So this bit, for example, like doesn't do much for me. It's to be honest, if I was shortlisting, like this was a risk by him. If I was one of the people shortlisting, I'd have probably ditched this one by now. Because it's just dun 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 which is every action movie since like the 90s, you know? And that's what I'm saying. I'm not having a go at the guy. I'm just saying that like this is what I would do if I was this is what I'm listening to. You know, with like damage type loops in the background. So I'd have probably ditched it by then, so that was a risk. What's happening to him? Oh, it gets good. Genres. It gets interesting as well. I just realized you're watching me. Do you think I'll get away with putting it on the screen, by the way? Right now we're watching it by my, like, you know, you're watching it via the camera. Do you think we'll get away with putting it on the full screen or is this fine for now? I just don't want to get in too much trouble for playing fucking movies, you know? I'll, I'll wait till you guys respond on that before I carry playing. This is fine. Okay, you guys can follow along. You know what I mean? I just don't want to. I just don't want to get the the copyright <laughs> strike. Right. Okay. So I'm just gonna rewind it a little bit. Here we go. this makes me a little irritated and again not the guy not the guy like again if you're frustrated with this competition don't take it out on the composer the work is good the work is good and he submitted it legitimately like everybody else right don't have a go at the guy he's going to be getting a lot of shit from people who are mad that they didn't win and they'll be directing it at him unfairly so i'm just saying to you guys don't do that okay like this guy doesn't deserve it i think what would make people mad and the thing that kind of would irritate me had i done it is you know for a fact, we all know for a fact, that HBO would not use this track. Like, we know that this is a joke. This is the this is the opposite. This is the anti-version of what the actual thing was. And I think what's pissing people off is everybody knows that this wouldn't make it into a film unless it was for a specific... It wouldn't make it into the TV show unless it was for a very specific reason. And I think that's probably what's bugging people. Right? Am I am I hitting the correct nerve there? Like I'm coming up with this on the spot, but I feel like that's probably what it's going to be, is because every like everybody you know, Spitfire said, score this, score this scene from HBO's dark, gritty, synthy uh, show, you know, and give us, you know, how would you how would you have scored this scene? And so everybody, I assume, took it seriously and said, well, if I was scoring this scene. I would score it like this. And then the version they chose was the joke. The person who's saying, ah, well, you know, for a laugh, you know, this is the opposite of what we do. And then they chose it and everybody's like, well, you told us to score the scene. You didn't tell us to like, who's who's got the best memes, you know? Like if they said meme this the best, if they said, you know, I feel like it wouldn't, like people would just be like, okay, you know, you, you won the best meme. Like good memeing, sir. However, because, you know, because they didn't say that, it's... I, do you feel like that's what it is? And I think that's genuinely going to be the, the... But yeah, I hope you guys can like... If you see people being nasty to this dude, just remind people it's not... You know what I mean? Like, not don't be nasty to him. He, he didn't do anything wrong. Let's rewind and have a little bit. I agree with that, by the way. Um, someone says, what if... Um, wait, where was it? I don't know if I agree. The story of the characters on drugs in the whole episode, we get lots of different genres. We do, but there's nothing to suggest other than the music that we're in an 8-bit. With the other genres, if you've seen the scene, they do camera tricks to evoke the emotion of said genre. So when you're in the old time, they go black and white. When they go into the romance, they go everything in slow motion and things like that. There's nothing on here to suggest it's 8-bit other than the music. 
So I can see how you're you're saying that is, but I feel like most people are seeing that as a stretch. You know what I mean? Like, I, I think that, again, that's what I'm saying the anger's coming from. I'm not saying that this is the fact and how it is. You know, if you, if you disagree with it, that's fine. But what I'm saying is, is I feel like most people, because in this scene in Westworld, which most people had seen, it's not doing 8-bit. They're not in another genre. They're in, well, they're in like the action movie genre, right? Or like, that's what the music's doing. It's just doing like the dark synthy thing. He's like almost out of the genre at this point if I remember correctly. And I feel like that's what most people were going by. It's like, had the brief said he goes into another genre, I I, had, so I didn't do the competition. If it said that, then fine. But if it said he transports into another genre, you can make it up, then fine. It is what it is. But I feel like that's probably going to be the problem. All right, Sabah, keep going. Is that a standard issue? No. It's not. Point and shoot. Police ahead. Maintain speed. Maintain speed. Sharp left. Now. That's what I mean. It, it's it feels like a joke. Do you know what I mean? Like it. it I don't feel like the composer, like I, the, the guy defending him, like it, which is absolutely fine. But the thing, like, I don't feel like he was doing the eight bit to evoke a new genre. I feel like he was almost doing the eight bit as a joke. It, that's what it felt like. You know, it feels like a lull, like a bit of a, a, a lulls, a bit like he was doing it for the the troll, but. Hey, he won, so he gets all the Spitfire things. And that's the other thing as well, is the thing I think might bother some people is a lot of people, right? Obviously, if you're a Spitfire fan, you're buying Spitfire libraries, chances are you want to get into film score, TV score. So for a lot of people, I imagine they were feeling that this was an opportunity to get their music put in front of J.J. Abrams, right? Not necessarily to get hired, but hopefully to produce something that showed that they knew what they were talking about. So one day, maybe someone who heard that demo listens and says, hey, what about that guy from the competition? I feel like there's some people there that are feeling like, well, you know, like I'm, I'm trying to take this seriously and you're choosing the joke tracks. You know what I mean? Like I, I spent I spent months pulling together this track in the hope that I could get it in front of J.J. Abrams. And at the end of the day, you choose like a little chip, teen, uh, chip tune beaty music thing you know that's um i think it's probably something like that how do you guys feel let me i want to hear like you can write one sentence of how you feel about the competition about the how it was won i'm curious to see like I'm, i want to feel i want to feel the uh what's the word i want to feel the the, the i want to get the temperature of the room and again it seems memey, but I'm not saying it's like malicious. That's that's the point. So the guy who wrote it, I feel like wrote it as a kind of joke, you know, like f for fun. You know, let's make everything 8-bit. It'll be funny. You know, people will laugh at it. I don't think he seriously considered that it was going to be the winner. I think obviously everybody gives allows themselves that thought, but I don't think he genuinely thought he would win with that. I just don't see it. You know what I mean? In the way it was written, I don't feel like it was... I don't feel like it was pained over. <laughs> Does that make sense? I don't mean that in a mean way, but it, you know, there's lots of just like rough edges and, you know, like some, you know, just loopy things and, you know, some loop things. It feels like it was more the principle than the actual track. And that's what I'm saying. I just feel bad for those who who were trying very seriously. But at the end of the day, it's Spitfire's competition. They can run it however they like. And 11,000 people, that is a lot of, that's a lot of dollar. Um. Wait, let me. I'm very confused, wondering what Spitfire was thinking. A total cunt off. It was frustrating hearing it live. I like your side. Uh, uh, felt weird for sure. That hearing the other entries, I would say this entry is a meme. Uh, most of the other entries were like the like the actual score, and I feel that's probably why they didn't win. It's weird. It's a weird competition. Like the problem is, is they picked a scene that already existed. So we already had context. We already had story. We already had themes. What they should have done is posted a video that 
no one had seen before. Score this. But then, of course, it doesn't, uh, you know, then, of course, there's no Spitfire, uh, try, Spitfire legitimizing themselves by working with Westworld, you know, because everybody knows Westworld. Not everybody knows Spitfire. Spitfire teams up with Westworld. Everybody knows Spitfire. I mean, it's, God, you could, oh. Oh, you can feel how well they're run by marketing. <laughs> you can feel it. It's because it all like it's all brilliant ideas. They're all great marketing ideas. But oh, oh, you can really feel it. But it works so well. But anyway, like I'm saying, the competitions like this, particularly if you've got eleven thousand, it's weird because there's a sort of pre-built-in bias because a lot of people are going to go with what actually worked. You see, because what was in the actual soundtrack is what fit what the director who was making it decided worked best for his, you know, for his product. And everybody heard that and knows what that version sounds like. So when you're told to write something, you're writing something different from something you know works, knows was accepted and works with the story. But you're trying not to sound like that. And I guess the chiptune track doesn't sound like that. But at the same time, it you know what I mean? It's not really, it's not, it doesn't really work with the scene in the way I think most people would. I'm just going to go through, read some of your things. Um, right. uh, wait, that one won. Yes, that one did win. Uh, the rub is that the music that won wouldn't have made the actual show. Yes, that is the point I made earlier, Lab West. That is exactly the point I would say. I, I, I am pretty sure that is the, that is the ember that has caused this entire fire. It's because the track they chose wouldn't have gone in the show. And everybody knows the show. So most people who were taking it seriously were scoring it as if they were the composer for the show, which I think is a fair assumption to make. If you're asked to score something from a show, it feels correct to score it as though you were working on the show. It doesn't make sense to write a chiptune piece out of the blue. But it's a competition. So at the same time, you you know what I mean? I think maybe it's because people didn't know what they were going to be looking for. You know what I mean? If they, like I said it a second ago, if they said like, we're looking for creativity and, ju you know, you could be funny with it. You could do that. Then fine. But if they just said like, score this scene, I, like again, I didn't enter, so I can't read it. Uh, I downloaded the videos, went to have a go and thought my time was better served elsewhere. I agree, Ben. That that was the thing. Like I, <laughs> I thought about entering myself and I was like, yeah, like my name pops up straight in the bin. Waste of time.